Hello everyone, and welcome back to Propway. As you saw in my last video, I built the Ant-Man helmet from Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, so it's only fitting that I build the new Wasp helmet. So this Wasp helmet is specific to the one shown in Quantumania, and I tried to make it as accurate as I could, but I was working off of some clips from the trailer, as well as some promo art. So it might not be 100% movie accurate, but maybe 90, 92, 93%. But honestly, I never really realized how sick the Wasp helmet is until I built it and had it right in front of me. I now personally think this looks better than the Ant-Man helmet. And of course, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own. This helmet is made completely out of EVA foam, except for the visor, which is just thin plastic. And all of the parts were 100% free-handed by me. So I will be posting a link in the description for the template that I made for you guys to build your own. And also guys, I do have a really big announcement. I will actually be attending the Ant-Man premiere in LA next month, which is why I'm building this helmet as well as the Ant-Man one. So now, on with the uh, So now, on with the tutorial. Okay, so as always, we first start off by freehand sketching the first parts of the helmet, which here I am building the forehead piece. And as you can see, once I cut it out of poster board, I just use masking tape to roughly assemble it just to get a good sizing on this mannequin head that I have. And now I'm just going to continue on drawing it out and cutting out pieces to make sure they fit correctly. And these are the pieces that I came up with. And you can see it's kind of just one half because we're going to mirror a lot of those pieces. So now we transfer this template onto EVA foam, which I'm using 5mm thick EVA foam here. And now we start to cut these pieces out. And you can see here some pieces require you to angle your knife a little bit like I'm doing here. And the template will show what pieces need to be cut at an angle and what pieces need to be cut straight. So once you have your first pieces cut out, you should end up with something like this. And now we're going to use some of this contact cement to connect the pieces together. So here I'm going to take this forehead piece and I'm just going to apply a thin layer on all the pieces that we are connecting. And once you wait a few minutes for that contact cement to dry, you can start connecting the pieces together like this. And specifically for this forehead piece, you want to have this little kind of offset lip right there just to make it a little more accurate to the real helmet. And now we're going to connect the rest of the pieces together, which I've already glued. So this is going to be the nose piece. And we're going to connect the other side of the nose here. And moving along, we're going to connect this kind of cheek and eye piece and then these kind of bottom of the cheek pieces. And here's what you should have. We're going to connect this little square mouthpiece right to the front there, which I suck at recording and can't frame it properly, so you don't see it too well here. But you should have something that looks like this when you're done. And as you can see, I also connected that forehead piece there. So now this is going to be the visor piece and it, right now it's just a sheet of foam that we're going to glue behind that face plate. And you can see I drew in Sharpie kind of the outline of where that needs to line up. So we're going to glue that to the back of the face plate. And when you're done, you should have something like this. And we're going to cut out obviously a hole for the eye later, but this is just going to help keep its shape. So now I'm going to freehand sketch a few more of the pieces. This specifically is going to be the side of the helmet. So now we're going to glue this white piece onto the side of the helmet. Again, I already applied the contact cement, so this is just going to stick together like that. And you're going to do that to both sides. And we have now we have this top of the forehead piece, which is going to get put on right there. So again, we apply some contact cement, let that dry a little bit, and then we connect that piece. And you should have something that looks like this right now. So now we're going to continue adding to the top of the head and I have these rectangular pieces that are just going to kind of layer underneath that first piece. So we're going to, I use contact cement again to just glue that right underneath the, that first top piece like that. And then we're going to add a third piece. And this part's kind of nice because it really gives it that wasp looking effect of, you know, layered shell. So I really like this step. And it's actually not difficult because it's not very precise. You're just kind of gluing whatever looks best to you. So now we're going to trace out some circles. I'm using the inside of a roll of masking tape, which is about three inches in diameter. 
and I'm cutting this out at a little bit of a bevel. This is a half inch thick piece of EVA foam. And I'm gonna use a Dremel just to smooth out kind of that rough spot there. And this piece is gonna act as the ear, just like this. So we're gonna glue that onto the side on both sides of the helmet. And now we have these other small pieces which is gonna connect the cheek piece to the ear. And once you're done with that, you should have this main shape, which is starting to look really good right now. So now we're going to start cutting out that eye piece. And you can see I used pencil to kind of roughly trace out what I'm going to cut out. So I'm just going to use an X-Acto knife and cut that out as smooth as I can. And once that's cut out, you should have something that looks like this. And now it's really starting to look like the wasp. So let's keep moving. Here I had to add these small white pieces to the side of the helmet, which you won't need to add because it'll all be part of the template already. So now moving on, I have this kind of rectangular shape that's going to get glued to the back side. And this is going to connect the two side pieces. So now we're just going to use this big piece right here to close off the back of the helmet, which you can use contact cement or hot glue. And now we're going to use these white pieces to make the antennas and this is made out of half inch thick EVA foam. As you can see there's a little bit of a bevel cut on the bottom of that so that it fits around the ear nicely. And here is the helmet progress so far and I think everything is looking good. So here this cheek piece was a little too long for me. So what I did was I cut out a short maybe quarter inch section of it and then recombined it and just to make it a little bit shorter and you can see here this is what it looks like after I cut that piece down it's a really small change but I think it made a big difference here you can see that seam where I did cut out that piece so it's completely up to you whether you want to cut that piece out or not okay so the hard part of the helmet is now completely done and this was one of the hardest free-handed helmets I've done I don't know why there's just a lot of different shapes and it's just kind of a weird overall shape in general and now it's time for the fun part or at least what I think is the fun part we're gonna start drawing on all the detail lines on the helmet and that's when we're gonna score it with an exacto knife heat it up and then all those lines will open up so let's go ahead and get to it so now I just use a pencil to roughly sketch out the detail lines on the helmet and I'm just using screenshots from the trailer and drawing it on as best as I can and now here I'm taking my exacto knife to roughly to lightly score those lines, make sure not to cut all the way through. As you can see here, I'm just kind of dragging my knife along, maybe cutting about one to two millimeters deep. So now we're gonna take our heat gun and heat up the entire helmet. And what this is gonna do is first heat seal the helmet, but also open up all of those detail lines and really make them pop. And here you can see those, those lines opening up and it really adds a lot to the effect of the helmet. So I'm gonna use this satin Mod Podge and just put a thin layer around the entire helmet. And now I'm gonna use this brush on acrylic paint and this is just gonna be a metallic silver. You can definitely use spray paint for this. It's a little too cold where I live to go outside and spray paint so I just brush it on and it's also easier in my opinion. And for each color I use, I put on about two to three layers to get a really nice solid color. Now I'm going to use this gunmetal metallic paint to brush on everything else that's not silver. So for all of the yellow accent details, I used this golden yellow acrylic paint. And as you can see, I'm just going to lightly brush that on. After looking at a few more reference photos though, I noticed that the helmet really should be more of a gold accent color because it's made of metal. So instead of this yellow, I put on this metallic gold on top of that. And here is the final paint job. And to finish it off, I used this yellow plastic which is part of a yellow binder divider. And once I glue that in, your helmet should look like this. One thing I did forget to mention, the finish on this helmet is not 100% done. I actually have to spray a clear gloss coat over it to give it that final shine. The problem is that I generally spray outside and since I'm from Chicago, it's about 29 degrees Fahrenheit, which is negative one degree Celsius. So yeah, I'm not gonna be spraying outside anytime soon, 
but hopefully I can get to it before the premiere, so just keep that in mind. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions on how I built it, feel free to leave a comment down below. Or if you have any suggestions for future videos, I would love to hear that as well. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. If you like this video, then you'll definitely like my tutorial on how to make the Ant-Man helmet. So go check out that video and make sure to subscribe for more tutorials.